So what about the uses of these elements? Well, of course, salt, sodium in the form of salt here, very useful to us. We put it on the roads, but it's used in many different uh, chemical processes. Um, similarly, uh, sodium, sodium hydroxide, very, very useful. Uh, what about uh, the other metals? Well, this is lithium. Early in the uh, first half of the 20th century, it was possible to buy 7-Up, and the very first formulation of 7-Up had lithium in it. It was lithiated 7-Up. Okay, and uh, there were other drinks available, such as this one, Happy Day. Well, it was noticed that uh, these lithium drinks actually were important in helping with, um, uh, with anti-depression. So it acts as an antidepressant. And this is, these are some lithium carbonate tablets. You see at the top there, lithium carbonate. This is used in the treatment for depression very successfully. Of course, lithium is also used in batteries. So all of your phones that you'll be using, this is a lithium battery from a phone, contains lithium. So very, very important. One of the advantages of lithium, of course, is that it's so light. We could also use some of the other alkali metals, some of the other group one metals, such as sodium, in making batteries as well. And, well, I'm going to show you a reaction here. This is a, a very large battery. In fact, the battery there is that entire building. This contains sodium and sulfur batteries. This one is outside Texas, and it's used to power a small city in Texas. So when all the power goes off, uh, and there's no more supply coming from the national grid, they use this battery to light up the entire city.